Hey guys, Mr. Backer here. In this video, we're going to use right triangles to set up trigonometric ratios. A trig ratio is a fraction that's made out of different sides of a right triangle. So let's take a look at a right triangle. I'm going to call this angle down on the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to call that angle A. And then what we want to do is we want to label some sides of this triangle based on where angle A is located. Now, across from the 90 degree angle is always going to be our hypotenuse. If we're starting at angle A and we look all the way across the triangle on the opposite side, we're just going to call that the opposite side. And the side right next to the angle that we're focusing on, angle A in this case, is going to be the adjacent side. Now there are three different trig ratios that we can set up based on looking at these angles. The first trig ratio is called the sine. So if we're looking at the sine of angle A, what we're going to do is we're going to take the opposite side and make a fraction by putting it over top of the hypotenuse. When we're looking at doing the cosine of angle A, we're going to take the adjacent side and put it over the hypotenuse. And for our last one, the tangent of angle A, we're going to take the opposite side and put it over the adjacent. Now it may be a little bit difficult to remember what sides to use when we're setting up a specific trig function. So we're going to use an acronym to help us remember which sides to use. So when we're looking at the sine, we go opposite over hypotenuse. So I want to look at the first letters of each of those. For the sine, we've got S, for the opposite, we've got O, and for the hypotenuse, we've got H. So we're going to call that SO. For the cosine, we've got adjacent over hypotenuse. So again, if we look at the first letters, we've got C for the cosine, A for the adjacent, and H for the hypotenuse. So that's going to be called CA. And for the last one, for the tangent, we've got opposite over adjacent. So again, if we look at the first letters, we've got T for tangent, O for opposite, and A for adjacent. So the acronym that we use to help us remember what sides we're using for our trig ratios is SOKATOA. SOKATOA. Now let's start looking at an actual triangle. We're going to set up trig ratios using one of our 3, 4, 5 right triangles. And what I want to start with is I want to focus on angle A first. So I want to do the sine of angle A, the cosine of angle A, and the tangent of angle A using the sides that we've got. So if we think about that acronym, for the sine, that's SO, so that's S-O-H. So the sine of angle A uses the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So if we're focusing on angle A, the opposite side is all the way across the triangle, so it's 4. So on top of our fraction, we're going to have 4. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, so in this case it's 5. So when we're setting up this sine fraction, we end up getting four-fifths as our answer. Opposite side four over hypotenuse five. As we're looking at the cosine, the abbreviation there is CA, so C-A-H. The cosine uses the adjacent side in the hypotenuse. So again, if we're focusing on angle A, the adjacent side is the side that's right next to it, so that would be three. And the hypotenuse is still across from the 90 degree angle, so that's five. Now if we're looking at the tangent of angle A, our abbreviation there is TOA. So the tangent uses the opposite over the adjacent. So from angle A, the 4 is the opposite, and the 3 is the adjacent. So our tangent fraction is 4 thirds. Now let's shift our focus down to angle B. We're going to do our three trig ratios again, the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, but now we're going to focus on angle B. So we're looking at doing the sine of angle B. So from earlier, the sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, but now we have to shift our focus a little bit. We're at B, so now the opposite side is the 3 because it's all the way across the triangle. So opposite side is 3. The hypotenuse hasn't changed. It's still across from the right angle, so that's still 5. So the sine of angle B is 3 fifths. If we look at the cosine of angle B, 
cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So now the adjacent side is the 4 because it's right next to angle B. And our hypotenuse is still the 5 because it's across from the right angle. And our last one, the tangent of angle B, we're going to do opposite over adjacent. So from angle B, 3 is opposite and 4 is adjacent. So we go 3 over 4. We're going to take a look at another triangle. Here we've got a 5, 12, 13 triangle. And I'm going to start by focusing on angle D. I'm going to do the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of angle D. When I'm setting up these trig ratios, I want to think about that SOKATOA abbreviation again. So sine, the SO piece of that, has the O and the H. So we're going to look at the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if we're starting at angle D, the opposite side all the way across is the 12. And the hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle, so that's the 13. Cosine, the ka piece, uses adjacent over hypotenuse. So right next to angle D is the 5. And across from the 90 degree angle is our hypotenuse again, so 13. And for the last one, for the tangent, that's our toa. So the OA means that we go opposite over adjacent. So we go 12 over 5. Now if we shift our focus again, we're going to move from angle D up to angle E. And we're going to do our trig ratios using angle E. So if we're going to do the sine of E, again, we're going to go opposite over hypotenuse, but now the opposite side is 5 because that's all the way across from the E. And the hypotenuse is still 13. For the cosine, we go adjacent over hypotenuse, so right next to E is 12. And the hypotenuse is still 13. And for the tangent of angle E, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 5 over 12. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.